going on everybody it's your boy ipod king caught here i'm just at my court man shooting around with kobe you know how we do man us goats like that you know what i'm saying but nah man um i'm making this video for the homie from twitter man um he asked me to do an attribute update showing my crossovers and everything like that uh basically a lot of people watch my streams and they always have the question of how do you get past people so easily? Um, how do you get past them without speed boosting? How do you do all these different moves? And they also want to know, how can you dunk on fools when you're only a 6-1 playmaker? Well, let me go ahead and let you guys know something. Playmakers are still cheesy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, even though they dropped the patch where, you know, they patched some of the ankle breaking crossovers, you still get certain animations that allow you to get past players as well as Everybody can dunk, man. I'm gonna just go ahead and put it like that. But when it comes to contact dunking, I'm not the best person. But when it comes to like, you know, getting to a lane, and once I get in my animation, it's over. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just let y'all know that now. Like, once I get into something crazy, like, you said, do a little behind the back cross, you know what I'm saying? They come in. Once I get in that animation right there, it's a rat, dog. I always get that animation. But let me go ahead and show you guys my player inventory, man. Show y'all what's really good. So when I go down to my NBA shots, a lot of people always want to know what do I green light with? Where is the Green Ranger? How does he come about? It's Rudy Gay. You know what I'm saying? I've been using Rudy Gay's jump shot as well as jump shot 27. And once the patch that initially broke the shot meter came out, I just got rid of jump shot 27 and went back to Rudy Gay. And I've been using that ever since, even when the new patch dropped that fixed the shot meter. So I've been using this and I won't stop using it. Uh, Rip Hamilton is my free throw. I only have this free throw for the animation. There's no other reason. There's no upside to this free throw. Um, it's not green every time. I just like it because of the animation. That's it. Contested shots, I got Steph Curry just because. Elite dribble pull-ups is seven because I love when my foot kicks out like that. <laughs> I don't know why. Spin jumpers is on normal four because of these simple spins you know when you do simple spins in your jump shot you can kind of time it better and you don't have to worry about like oh man it's just one animation you feel me um hop jumpers is steph curry because of that little step back right there post phase will always be mj he's the goat post hooks is shaquille o'neal because he's a beast in the paint and i only use that against smaller guards i don't go up against bigger guards and use that in my career post hop shots don't really care post shimmy shots don't care protect the jumper don't care all right, now let me go into my dunks and layups. Now, for, if you want the craziest dunks and layups with the minimal amount of time to get blocked, you want to go with basic two-handers off two. Basic two-handers off two is crazy. It's only one back scratcher animation in this entire package. All right, one back scratcher animation. And the reason why I call it a back scratcher animation is because that's where you bring the ball behind your head. Okay, that's the one that people mostly block all the time. Now, hangs off one, I love this because you make up a lot of ground when you take off. When you take off, you kind of like springboard to the uh, to the goal instead of like getting into a stuck animation. It's, it's very easy because the animations are set after you hang. Rim grazers off one, they're the ones where I kind of like go into my like regular dunk of not bringing the ball back behind my head when I'm dunking because most of the time that's what people are waiting for me to do. People love timing dunks when you're dunking with one hand because they know that they can block it. But with rim grazers, he just goes straight up. He doesn't cock it back. He doesn't windmill, nothing. He just goes straight up with the ball. Now under basket rim pull ups, these are the dunks that I like because I kind of catch certain people off guard. A lot of people like, yo, he's 6'1", he, he's gonna try to lay it up. Nah, I hold that R2 with every bit of ounce of life in me. And then I just hold square. Um, basic hangs off too, you guys can see that these are like my go-to dunks for a bunch of different sets. And then I go back to basic two-handers off too. So basically you guys see, man, when you hold the ball with two hands, man, it's all about safety, baby. Now let's talk about Jamal Crawford layup. I have never done a Jamal Crawford layup. I'm still trying to figure out how to do it. Um, I remember that you have to do like the hop step joint or sometimes you can go forward and they'll do the animation for you. But I haven't done it because my layup for my dunks have never been over 80. But I recently upgraded the attribute bar to my dunks and layup, so I should be able to start doing that soon. Um, I have the generic alley-oops and I have no contact jumps, okay? Now, let's look at the NBA dribble moves. I know that this is what 
everybody wants to know about, bro. They want to know, yo, what crossover you got? What's your behind the back like? So my crossover is elite too, just because of the simple fact that I can control my guy after I do a crossover. After you do a crossover, you take a big step of speed where you're not actually holding R2. It's all an animation. You can cross over and move and your player will keep running. And then after his animation stops, you can then press R2 and keep up your speed without losing a lot of stamina. Now, Elite Behind the Back 4, still the cheesiest behind the back in the game. A lot of people like the behind the back that uh, Steph Curry generic joint has, but I don't like that because it hits off of people's feet more than Elite 4. Now, Elite 6 ISO spin is very quick for some uh, instances, as well as that one between the legs I love. I love going between my legs and then um, spinning because people can't stop it. Now, ISO hesitation is normal one. I still love this because of that little uh, hop step back. That right there, that move is perfect. Um, if you guys want to get that move into your dribble set, you need it, man. Because everybody steps back and then crosses over the other way. And step back, crosses over the other way. What I do is I step back, cross over, and then I step back. And then run the exact same way that my initial first crossover is going. So a lot of people think every time I use that step back, that, I, that a crossover is coming right after that. No. Sometimes I do the step back and then keep running the way that I want to run. And it catches a lot of people off guard. Um, rhythm dribble is elite seven just because it has a little bit of everything between the legs, behind the back, and you can catch people reaching. And when you catch them reaching, you teach them. And also, when they do reach, some people actually foul you because that initial behind the back rhythm, they can't get back there, so they're actually slapping your wrist. Now, basic size up is elite two, just because it's simple between the leg and that right there. Everybody loves that little Steph Curry hop. Everybody loves it, and that's where it's at, man. In elite two, if you want to add that hop to your uh, setup. Kemba Walker, I use his inside outside cross ups because they're just they're dope. They they separate. They get a lot of space, and it also catches people off guard when you do that and then you cross over. Oh my God, it's like it's, it's insane. Now cross over size of combos is Steph Curry because of that double dribble right there. Like boom, boom. Oh my God. When you hop back, you have so many options. You can run past the guy. You can do a step back. You can do a spin move. You can cross back over, go past him. It's just so many different variations. Uh, between the legs, Kobe, once you get into these different leg combinations, it sets up beautifully, but you have to know how to use your stick game. I'm sorry. A pause on all of that. But your stick game got to be serious, bro, if you want to do that in train. Now, I do it sometimes, and it does separate space, but I don't do it when I'm playing 4v4 at the park. Because sometimes I'm at the three-point line doing that, and before you could do the Kobe, you have to go between your legs twice, and then the animation to trigger. So I don't do it in 4v4 because I've seen myself do some backcourt violations, and I don't like doing that. So I don't do it um, when I'm behind the three-point line. Now, uh, the behind the back size of combo... This step carry drain is crazy. Um, if you want to do this, all you got to do is click uh, down on the analog twice, and he will do that animation. And oh my god, anything that comes after that is almost a body every single time, dog. Now, uh, what else do I have for you guys, man? Um, not much, man. I have some pro am rituals. Not much, you know what I'm saying? Just team defense default stuff. Celebrations is default. Um, let's go to my part animations, dog. My part rituals, uh, you guys see, man, I always have that fighting pride on. Always, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just nice with the hands like that. Uh, I got to say hello to my friend Duo, the trio battle joint, the quiet secret weapon, quiet side show. And just to let you guys know, I am an all-star one at the park. I'm chasing to get the all-star too, man. And uh, I got my basketball, yeet, you know what I'm saying? I also got the She Loves Michi. Everybody knows about the She Loves Michi when I serve it up on a platter for these dudes, man. <laughs> but uh, let's see what else I got. My part celebrations, everything is default because I haven't unlocked it yet. My part gameplay rules, I have nothing except the dunking sign part dunks. Now, I only do these when I'm on a fast break. I try not to do them when I'm in a half court set, all right? Because these animations do trigger a lot of cockbacks where people can block it. The between the leg is a cock back where people can block it. I recently uploaded a video of me doing a 360. That right there. I did that in a half court set. Thought I was going to get it blocked, but I ended the game on that. You know what I'm saying? And it was crazy. But yeah, this is my only uh, park dunk and I have nothing for uh, generic joints. And <laughs> 
my flop is salty. I, I just, <laughs> I, I love that one, man. It's, it's just hilarious, bro. Got to hold on to the ball head on my way down. You already know, man. But uh, my part off court, I got the innocent walk. Got the uh, contender jog, and I don't have anything when I'm standing around, man. I don't, I don't care about when I'm standing around, dog. Uh, and I think that's about it, man. When it comes to my part of clothing, I can show you guys a little, a little something real quick, man. A little something that I paid for that's in my repertoire. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got the Sixers T, Jordan T, Ballers T, Gatorade T, Nike T, Brown Boy. <laughs> got this, uh, the best drink that I had inside of the initial prelude, the orange juice tea, 76ers hoodie, magic hoodie, only because I'm on a magic team in my career. Got the um, all black all black joint with the uh, gray striping and uh, bottom piece that I wore with stacks and them joints. Uh, the gameplays that we put up on my channel, his channel. Um, I got the Kobe hoodie, of course, for the prelude. Got the custom uh, my player jersey, but my name on the back sucks, so I don't use it anymore. Got that joint from the prelude, 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 and there we go there. Bottoms. I have the Adidas uh, triangle shorts for the Sixers. And also the Brooklyn Nets. Um, the prelude joints, prelude joints, cargos, denim skinny jeans, chill, uh, straight leg jeans, <laughs> magic warm up pants, like I said, only because I'm on a magic. Um, sweatpants, and back to that. Um, headwear, I have the, let me see, the plain cap joint that I wore with Stacks. I have the Knicks uh, fitted joint from the Mission Less store. Uh, the Los Angeles drink from the Mitchell and that store and that's about it. Uh, I got black ice earrings um, I got a Tissot watch for my uh, Endorsement that I did pretty dope um, Got a black ice ring and I also have uh, the Philadelphia 76ers team socks drinks. I have the Orlando Magic team socks, Indiana Pacers team socks, and Phoenix Suns team socks. The only reason I have all of these, and also I have the Sands uh, casual socks. The only reason I have most of those socks is because I match them up with what I'm wearing. That's that's all that is. But uh, yeah, man. Other than that, guys, I have. Let's see. Um, let's not worry about that. Let's go to player stats. Um, just to show you guys my way to the Hall of Fame dimer. Um, I have 800 assists out of the 1,200 or more needed. Um, so I'm probably going to get this in the next like 8 to 10 games that I play in my career. I'm going to play um, on, uh, I think, like pro and probably 12 minute quarters to get it. I'm probably going to get like 20 to 30 assists per game. I'm, I'm, I was aiming for 50 assists per game, but it's really hard to get 50 assists per game unless you like turn the game speed all the way up to 100 and stuff like that, man. I ain't got time for that. I mean, I lose my mind if I did. But um, I wonder, is Kobe still here? Where's Kobe? All right, yeah. So me and Kobe, we about to finish up what we was doing, man. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. You know what I'm saying? Nice little attribute update. Uh, if you guys want to see me and Kobe shoot up some threes as he catches that one right there, make sure to like the video, and I'll drop that gameplay for you guys. This is your boy, IKC, signing out. Peace.